As an update to the whole video cropping situation where its videos are getting cut off, I have asked around, I have tested some stuff and asked around some more, and it turns out that it's because of the stretching tag that people use in their videos to turn a, a full screen video into a widescreen video or just to stretch it out to its proper aspect ratio. Um, but this doesn't occur in all browsers. It seems to only happen in Google Chrome. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to watch videos with the YT stretch tag without any problems, just get Firefox or something. <laughs> anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are starting the Goron Mines. The second dungeon in the game and it is 20% hotter. <laughs> I am so excited! I love this dungeon so much. I love a lot of the dungeons in Twilight Princess. I love Twilight Princess in general, actually. It's my favorite Zelda game. So it's kind of a mandatory for me to make a walkthrough on my favorite Zelda game, <laughs> so to speak. I'm pretty sure that you don't have to take both paths on this short platforming segment segment at the beginning here. You just have, just have to pick one and move on. Like, I, don't, I really don't think there's anything for you on the other one. So yeah, just pick the one that you prefer and... Ow. <laughs> Hit your face on the wood beams. Actually, don't do that. You'll notice that this is very hot and if you touch that, you will get burned. I will not do that, but you'll notice the switch is over here. I think you know what to do. <laughs> That was a lot of pointless banner. Also, take off your iron boots before you start moving forward, otherwise you might not have enough time. Uh, there's another one up ahead. What is under this rock? A snake? Okay, no. Eh. And... You don't have to tell me. I, I seen that ahead of, ahead of time. <laughs> but thank you anyway. Um... Okay, let's move on. And, hello? Who are you? I don't know, but I'm going to try my shield attack. Yeah! And that's how it's done. You could probably kill it with the um, uh, slingshot or oop, just gale boomerang or something like that normally if you don't have that power by now. Or just avoid it altogether. That was a torch slug if I'm not mistaken. And it's just frozen dead there because I'm in the middle of a cutscene. <laughs> Oh, and we just learned what a red rupee is. Interesting. I, I would have never known that. So, anyway, uh, I should also mention that I took all the tags, at least temporarily, with the uh, stretching tag out of my videos, the uh, other Twilight Princess videos. So if you want to go back and watch the other Twilight Princess videos, you can do so. Uh, without, I mean, you'll be able to read the text now. <laughs> If you were using Google Chrome or whatnot before, or just switch browsers or whatnot. Another torch slug. You are going down. So, yeah. Just thought I would make a mention of that as well. And run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Roll up. I don't care. Go, go. <laughs> that actually gave me plenty of time. I'm supposed to jump on here and use the iron boots. You can tell by the little footsie symbol on there on the platform. That had me stumped actually the first time I played the dungeon because I didn't notice that before. But yeah, that is indeed what you're supposed to do. I don't think there's anything else in this area. I'm not going to obsess over it or anything at the moment because I know I'm going to have to come back to this dungeon later on in the game anyway once I have a certain item. Because I'm pretty sure there's something that you have to come back here for that you can only get with said item. And what is this technology in a Zelda game? This is blasphemy! <laughs> yeah, so there's a humongous crane right in the middle of this room. What is it for? You will find out soon enough. Anyway, I think we are supposed to go to the left first. I'm just gonna pick a path. Doesn't really matter all that much, I suppose. Although it might matter. Isn't... is there a map in here? Or a key? It's a key! That's delightful. But I would actually prefer a map. <laughs> my, my sense of direction is just awful. And... Whoa! Whoa! I did not know this. Blue rupees are worth five rupees. No way. I'm glad we know that now. I would have never known that had they not told me that 
at this very moment. So anyway, let's go back up this way, and I wonder where that key is used. I don't think there's a that we needed a key to, to progress on this left path. Well, we probably needed a key somewhere along the line, of course. All keys and all dungeons, I mean, all keys are used in dungeons nowadays, so... And... Uh, oh. Well, there we go. <laughs> I guess it was used here. Well, whatever. New room! I'm not gonna bother destroying and picking up all the stuff in a room. Although, it, I'll probably go through like the really easy to, to go through stuff like this here that you can just swing your sword at. And this is a Dodongo. They are a rather interesting critter in that you can't attack them directly like that. Uh, also dodge their fire breath, you know, like the little dragons. They're, they're very easy to dodge and relatively harmless, but what you're supposed to do is go and attack their tail. Uh, what's also interesting about them is that when you uh, go over around to the right or to the left, you'll automatically retarget the tail without letting go of the Z button. I always found that kind of odd, but it's quite handy at the same time. Anyway, let's move on and here are these pillars of fire. Otherwise you might get knocked into the lava. You are going to die! Yeah! Didn't even get to spit your flame breath at me, did you? Did you? Uh, anything? No. Okay. You there! You're gonna be able to spit your flame breath at me. But that's okay, it still doesn't matter all that much. You are a very harmless critter. Even kids will be able to dodge their fire breath. <laughs> Just take your kids to a Dodongo Zoo or something like that, and there you go. They're all nice, perfectly safe. <laughs> uh, pull! 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 This opens a pathway in there, but you have to run to the opening. And I must time it to the flame jets. I'm going to let go there and hope that my pathway is cleared so I don't have to wait for too long. I go over to here, get in here before it closes! Don't worry, that isn't spiky, but you do have to rush to get in there. And if those flame jets are, I mean, those flame pillars are in your way, they will slow you down just enough to uh, obstruct your path to there. There's some more of that weird shiny material that was on the crane. We are about to find out just what it is. So you go inside the water here, and you know, you'll notice that, well, we're sort of trapped, we can't do anything. So plop on your iron boots and walk underwater, but you'll notice you have an air gauge, so don't dilly-dally. Hit the switch. They're magnetic! That's what these things are. And I was going the wrong way because I was reversed. Actually, I was pressing the right way. I'm pressing down right now to go up at that point. That's kind of weird. So yeah, these are magnetic floors once they're activated. And that's how you get around this dungeon, is you use your iron boots and you walk across these magnetic floors. These are why I love this dungeon. It's, it's just such an interesting design. I can't get to that upper path just yet. It just allows for so much more possibilities in terms of what you can or can't do in the area. And hello there, Goron Elder. What's up? Ooh! I thought I felt the presence, but was surprised to find a young human. Word has come to me of you, and if Gor Koron has faith in you, then your heart must be true. <laughs> I am one of the four Gohan elders. Goromoto is my name. Any relation to Miyamoto? Oh, never mind. You are a heroic young human. Please, you must... <coughs> Lend this tribe to your power. You get key shard! This is actually the boss key of the area. You need to meet up with all the other Goron elders in this place to get the remaining key shards. They're all held by them for protection, basically. Mm. Key is split into three pieces. I just explained that. Each of us elders keeps a piece. I just explained that too. <laughs> This I will do, but first I will open this treasure chest and hope it's the dang map. <laughs> Ooh, 
indeed it is. I've seen a treasure chest off to the left side, so I might as well pick that up as well. Man, he's really slow getting up slopes there. And I just learned what a red rupee was once again. <laughs> just watch this. It's a, yeah, it's like he slows down when he's going up the slope. It's kind of weird. It's, hmm. It doesn't happen in, on all the slopes. And there, this appears to be some sort of meeting place as well, as you can see. As well as some living quarters as well. And I just said well like 60, 70 times in that whole sentence. Only that was greatly exaggerated. And I cannot use my sword in here. That's interesting. Maybe I'll just avoid the pots altogether unless I see one shaking. Ah, not mean to do that. Let me up the ladder. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta carefully walk into the ladder, I suppose, otherwise you'll just bounce right off of it. And there we go, second level. Now we'll be able to climb across those other flo other floors. And we can also climb back up this ladder, because that's just what I wanted to do exactly. Wait, why don't you believe me? Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, let's move on. No more dilly-dallying. Oh, oh! I see that. Right there. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Woo! It's the bird that I still am unsure how to pronounce. I looked up the name, I've... Uh, and it, there it doesn't seem to be any official pronunciation of O-O-C-C-O-O. -O -O. <laughs> some say the first syllable is O or O. The, some say the uh, other syllable, the second part is ko or ku, so I don't know. <laughs> no one seems to be able to agree on it, so I, I'll probably just call it whatever. I have oku! That sounds good enough to me, right? But I'm probably not going to use her whatsoever. And let's move on. I really don't feel like picking up those pots and rocks individually. I'm just going to go and... Hmm, I should probably intelligently knock these critters off of... I can't knock those critters off, really? What if I were to do something like this? Will this work? Well, are you vulnerable now? No, you're not. Okay, you're just stuck there, I guess. Anyway, what you gotta do here, obviously, iron boots. Walk up the wall. This is so awesome. <laughs> it's kind of slow, but... The way they have the combat in this, it offers you different strategic options. I, I mean, be, well, actually, I should say it restricts you a little bit in your in your strategy because what you're supposed to do is um, you're supposed to work with it and not let enemies get to you. You know, you, you can't let them attack you or whatnot as you're moving slow. So basically, because you're moving so slow, you become more of a target per se, and that's what increases the challenge and. Uh, Poss strategy possibility. Well, I guess that decreases it, but you, I think you see what I mean. I'm just sort of stumbling on my words here. Whoa, poopers. <laughs> oh, this room. It's This isn't a bad room in the slightest, but it's kind of tedious to get through. I first want to go over to that dead end right underneath where the cursor is at, at the map there, because there is something for us there. Once I get there, I will be able to get ye old treasure at the end of this magnetic place. I guess this isn't that slow. Yeah, it gives, it gives you enough room to move. Um, I'd like to drop off somewhere so I don't have to... There we go. I didn't want to go the whole way, just walking that would take a little bit longer. It's a piece of hearts! Woohoo! I believe there's two in this dungeon. So be sure to pick them up as you go. And flipping around. This looks totally awkward. <laughs> because just imagine how much upper body strength you would have to have in order to keep yourself like in the standing position while sideways. That would be really, really awkward. <laughs> Anyway, that was the only dead end of this place, if I'm not mistaken. The rest of the paths just like loop around, and there is our magnetic field to pop us back up here if need be later. Um, I don't remember which 
thingy I'm supposed to go to. I think I'm supposed to go this way. I'm just sort of following the path here on the map and hoping that it takes me in the right place that I'm aiming for. While I kill these slugmas along the way, I'm too far away to do a lock. There we go. I should say I'm not too far away to do a lock, I'm too far away to attack while doing a lock. But yeah, since you are going so slow, you have to fend off the enemies rather than um, just dodging them as you could on the ground. And that's what I was—that's what I mean about that. It, it gives you a new kind of uh, element of strategy to your game. Uh, wait, am I? Is this a dead end? Or am I supposed to? I'm gonna go into first-person view. <laughs> this is kind of weird, by the way. If you go into first-person view and take a look around, you can see. Uh, everything upside down when you're on the ceiling, which is pretty cool, too. Um, yeah, I, okay, there, I guess there was another, another dead end. Dang it! <laughs> so I guess I gotta make a left and follow that path once I get around the corner. Do not take off your boots, by the way, for obvious reasons. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to plop down over there where those torches are. And that is where I think I'm going to end off this part, actually, because we're going to be hitting 17 minutes shortly. And I'll be finishing the room shortly as well, and I don't know how long the next room will be to get through. So this seems like a good idea. And I think here is good! Yeah! Awesome! So, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part, when we see what is beyond that door!